about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we Every spot has a little picnic table, a little fire pit of sorts right here. What do you think? It's good. You sure? No, I think it'll be good. And who's sure? Guys. Viana, are you going to be vlogging this trip? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you're going to be vlogging too? Yes. Is it the same way you attach it to a house, kind of? Oh, yeah. Just that is a little smarty pants. I don't know, I didn't even open this thing. Oh, you gotta, you gotta show. I didn't mount it yet. What? It's a surge protector, hardwired. I think it's two minutes. What do you mean? Checking every line, so. Papa, can I have you can't leg right one, now? leg two. So it's checking. I mean, you could go without it, I could bypass it, but just to make sure there's no short anywhere, or the, it's grounded well, so just go through the process. And then in two minutes, you're gonna hear a click and it, it's good to go. We are all starving. Well, nothing fell out, but the water bottles did move all over the place. I was just mainly worried about the soup. <laughs> just to make sure it didn't like slush and slush anywhere. So we are here. The spots are nice. You have a little bit of privacy on both sides. There's like trees. I guess it depends on where you stay, uh, like what part of the park. But it is a really big park, as you guys can tell by the map. My husband's having some issues with the batteries when we bought this RV off auction. We still have those old batteries. And I guess they're dead, whatever, like maybe he can explain <laughs> explain it better. It's like all foreign language to me. So he's trying to lower the level levelers, you know, the things to level the RV before we can pop out any of the slides, things like that. So we will see. But let me see if I can like hook up to Wi-Fi because I think they have Wi-Fi. Such um, such the campers that we are, you know, coming in the middle of nowhere. And the first thing we search for is Wi-Fi, of course. Freshly showered. Yeah. Eating soup, waiting for Lisa and Mike to come here so that we can go to the pool because the kids won't stop asking us. Um, what time did we come here? Like three? Three uh, thirty. It's now six. I think it's a an hour and a half to like two hours day. to your batteries. You wanna? I kind of. So the batteries were completely drained. I couldn't get the hydraulics or the landing gear to come down and then the hydraulics to auto lock. We couldn't open the slides until we had it leveled, all the good stuff. And then after that... So we borrowed jumpers and we got that going, but that probably took we gave you jumpers. 30 minutes. The front desk? 
Oh really? Oh that's nice. That's the nice thing about our viewers. They usually are like willing to help each other out. So he's gonna eat soup and then we're thinking to either wait for them and then go to the pool or see. <laughs> I'm just ready to like do nothing. Literally like do nothing. How about you? In terms of like you know how you go on vacation, you can sit down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. You can come out find him. I'll do like half your cheek. Yeah, there you go. Just to sneak a few spoons. Yeah, we gotta bring a table, but like a portable table. Table in. You gotta bring it in. You know, and then you still have to buy a cable for the TV because it's not really camping unless you have cable. Yeah, I forgot the slinky for the. Forgot the slinky for the poop 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 hose. <laughs> so. He like made his own contraption out of the wood, but we're gonna need the wood to make a fire. So um, you gotta buy that too. The Walmart's two and a half yeah. miles away, is it? So it's a, a lot of fun so far. It's a great experience. We're gonna walk to the pools, the indoor heated pools, or no, the outdoor ones, I think. They close at eight, so we have about an hour and a half. And the kids wanted to ride their bikes, of course. It's like so bright, so you might not be able to see anything, but they have some tennis courts little softball area down there and then that's where we just came from and then I think that's the pool but I could be wrong I think that's the pool because they have beach chairs lined up oh and that's the booth where we uh, where we drove in right there and then that's where we registered right there okay we just kind of basically made it like a circle and then that's the pool it's really nice here there's not too many people they got the playground right there with the sand. I think it has sand. I see Mike rolling in. Oh yeah, they're supposed to be coming in soon. And that's literally where we rolled in. There's a booth right over there, which is where we um, got like the registration information. So basically made like a whole loop. So once you familiarize yourself with it, I think it's a lot easier to like know where to go and stuff. Liza's here, but we can't see because it's too dark and hubby's gonna start a fire. Probably roast some marshmallows on our kebab sticks. Kids are having a blast riding back and forth on their bikes. You even used igniter fluid? No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you cheated. I did. Yeah, he cheated. I have no idea how these kids have so much energy when they first wake up. They're like the first ones up. But good morning, this is the first full day, I guess you can say. I'm gonna do some breakfast. Hold on. We don't have, we don't have kitchen blinds yet in the kitchen, so I just used these to cover up the windows a little bit. breakfast I had to change the battery real quick because the battery's dying but put on my bathing suit because I think we're gonna go to the water park soon I'm gonna have to get the kids dressed but I have to put on my sunscreen first my husband's recording the kids because he's so excited he's like on cloud nine right now living his best life mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah you got a YouTube channel let leave the handles on below let him know <laughs>
Ooh, they even have like this little trio hot spot here. So nice. It's like a little mini hot tub. I lost so nice. two of my lash clusters. <laughs> I went down the water slide and I lost one, and then I could feel the other one just like flapping in the wind. Oh, glue the jeans. Lash links. It usually is really good, but yeah. I guess because I've had it on for a week, I should have I should have done my lashes fresh right before I got here. It is what it is. I ended up taking them off completely and redoing them. People are probably wondering if you're like an RV person, you're watching an RV vlog, like. Why am I even watching this? So I usually do the lashes on my video, so that is why. But my hot dogs, the little mini grill that was you bought at Walmart yesterday. I mean, there, there's a grill here, but it's, I don't know. We'll test it out one of these days. Yeah. But for now. And then do burgers in a little bit, maybe. Mmm, it looks delicious. Luis, I like your helmet. You come Luis, you pick that one? Is it tight, Seika? Other way. No. Come here. Can I try a coffee? It's a iced matcha. It's the same. Mmm, so good. It's the same. The same? Yeah. Took a little nap. Felt so good. <laughs> All the kids went to the store with Walmart. Um, this is the other pond. The first one was closed. The paddle boats closed at four. I think it's like five. I'm gonna go fishing, or the men are gonna go fishing, or whoever. So they have two ponds here as well. Super relaxing. Not sure if you can see anything from the sun. Little gazebo. I think they said they have like 130 acres or so. I I already know what you're gonna do. Ah, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> How are you enjoying RV trip so far? Very good. Yeah, it's really relaxing. It's nice. It's like it's nice because you're glamping. But it's also nice because you came with friends. The kids have someone to play with, so that's nice. There's not much places to ride around our house, but here. Yeah, the they're nice loving bike, it. Bike it's like all they do is their bikes. Hence Can't the believe we didn't bring ours though. We'll know. This is our first trip, so yeah. for the next trip you'll know a lot of stuff of what to bring and stuff. It is day number three. Technically full day number two. Took a shower. It feels great to be nice and clean. I think for our next RV trip I would definitely get an outdoor rug just because there's so much sand and stuff that like gets in here from the outside. So I definitely have to invest in an outdoor rug. We have a few on Amazon. Kids wake up early every morning, like I said, and then go out to ride their bikes, so it's nice that they like, have their friends here. Today we're gonna go on the paddle boats. Actually, right there, you can see them. Wow, it is dark. And uh, yesterday, when we went, obviously, when we went yesterday, as you guys saw, they were closed. So we decided to go early today, right before we do anything, and then probably head to the water park later. He turns, he turns right here, huh? Oh, so I turn. Well. This is Let's nice. Let's turn around, Sykes, okay? Wow. So interesting. It is very interesting. Let's see if we can spot any more turtles. Right there, there's some goldfish over there. There we go, down there somewhere. You want to turn closer to the banner? It is so hot out today. That was nice. Uh, the pond is small, so... You can't spend more than X amount, like whatever, up probably an hour max, if even. Maybe I'll take 15, 15, half an hour maybe at most. Um, you see like turtles, some goldfish, some random fish, but otherwise, just like a little pond. It's still nice to do and nice that they have it here. But now we're gonna go to the water park because it is roasting outside. I think it's like 90 something degrees. I'm gonna sit down in that pool and not get up. We are back at the RV camper after the little paddle paddle boat things we went to the um what do you call it the water park for a little bit got hungry so decided to come back not really vlogging a lot so we're doing chicken kebabs i'm all about relaxing i feel like we've just been so go 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 because you want to explore the park you know you want to entertain the kids the kids have been kind of whiny on and off but they're just enjoying um being together hanging out waking up together so 
Right now we're just gonna have some, I think it's gonna, it's like what, three, four o'clock? Three o'clock. What better way to spend a trip other than hanging out and just eating food all the time, you know what I'm saying? I found this cute little set on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it anywhere, really. But it's it's smaller than I thought it would be, but it fits perfectly for like doing bacon or something. It's the last day here. Check out this at 11, it's 8.30, so gotta hustle and like kind of pack everything up. Get away to a place where we don't know. I look exhausted. We stayed up pretty late, just kind of like chatting around the fire while after we put the kids to bed. What is this? If you're traveling with friends, definitely recommend to get sites that are side by side. Otherwise, I can't imagine. It's just not the same if you're not next to one another. Like the kids just wake up to go ride bikes. You're in here, the kids are playing together, things like that. If you if the kids had to like draw ride their bikes farther down, it's just it's just not the same. So definitely get sites. They're closer together. Overall, I would say this park has so much to do. I mean, they have like the water park, the pools, they have the indoor pool, they have the hot tubs, the little campfires by the pool, the arcade, the movie room, which we never did, we thought to do. The paddle. Paddle balls were okay. It was like a nice thing to do for like half an hour or so. Nothing too crazy. But you're, you're not really going to be too bored here. And it's nice and private, everyone kind of like minds their own business, the sites are private, their trash is picked up every morning, like someone drives by and cleans it up, it's fairly clean I would say, like we don't really have much to compare to honestly, so I don't know, we like it. There's another one around here that my friend has been to as well, and the Moose Hillock, it's also like around Lake George, that one looks like it has like a really cool pool area I wonder what that one is like but she did say that that one like this one has roads actual roads when you're driving for the truck those she said I believe are like gravel like for the kids even like the kids are like riding bikes on actual roads they're not like street roads they're just created for the park well there are street roads because the cars <laughs> drive on it but that one has like gravel so it's much more difficult for kids to like ride their scooters and stuff I can definitely see that being an issue for sure because the kids were just riding bikes non-stop oh, but now we just gotta eat breakfast and slowly like secure everything pack it up there's really not much like to pack up just kind of like secure everything see what come here I teach you I'm gonna turn so I can see there's a says pilot push hold you have to hold it for 30 seconds, every am on it, And then there's an igniter thing that allows the propane to... What's that called? Hey! Igniter? You're supposed to spark it, but I tried sparking it. Try sparking it now. You have to wait 30 seconds, it has to wait 30 seconds. Don't do it too long. Try now. If we can start it, we'll start. No. So I do it myself. Yep. And then you set it to the temperature you want. And then stick it like on fire. Yep. You see it? Mm -hmm. I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah, <I'm on. laughs> yeah uh -uh. And these are the little egg bites. I found them at Aldi. I think they were limited edition, I'm not sure, but they're not bad. There's this one, then there's like another flavor. This one's the more, it has like more spinach in it. Sometimes frozen spinach can taste a little bit weird, but they're not too bad, honestly. And it's like simple ingredients, nothing too crazy. Kind of like stuff that you can actually know what it is. For the most part, I never even got to use our smoothies. We just brought french fries just in case. They obviously ate ice cream. We had the soup, the corn. 
We made burgers, we had extra burger meat, we made chicken kebabs, have some extras left over. Uh, so I'd say we planned fairly well, not like too, too much left over. Ate all of our snacks, in fact that was the first thing to go, never got to use the bacon. Milk was just enough. Orange juice is more than enough. Obviously the water, you know, we did make a trip to Walmart for certain things like we got flashlights, helmets, uh, cables, things like that. So it's nice that the Walmart here is literally, there's a Starbucks, there's a Walmart, you're right off like the main strip. You can sometimes, when you're at the pool, can like hear the traffic. So you're not in the middle of nowhere. Although I would probably not recommend the Starbucks. We, I decided to get, I saw in someone's stories on Instagram the other day. I mean, this is obviously first world problems. Not a big deal at all whatsoever. I'm just sharing. I saw on Instagram stories the other day. One of the girls that I follow ordered at Apple Cribs Macchiato. And I was like, wow, the fall drinks are back. My husband was at Walmart, so I'm like, hey, you know, can you get me Apple Crisp Macchiato? He brings it back to the RV and I'm like, it was literally milk. It was literally milk. I'll insert a photo here so you guys can see, but I have a feeling they just forgot the espresso shot because it just tasted like milk with the huge layer of that Apple Crisp syrup of sorts. So... Not the best experience, but otherwise, but Starbucks is there. And if you guys remember the two ponds that we went to, the first one is the paddle boat pond, and then you walk a little bit curve, and there's the other pond for like fishing, whatever. There's somewhere around there, there's a trail to be able to walk to Lake George. We never did it. Obviously, this resort is not on Lake George, but Lake George is within walking distance. So, tons of stuff to do. You're not like stranded in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's a very nice location, very family friendly. We we really liked it. Like I don't think we have anything to complain about at all. I mean, this is our first trip, but for being a first trip, I mean, I asked my husband, but for me, other than my Starbucks drink, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, got my coffee, my smoothie for the road. Kids have their waters in their backpacks. Husband just has to secure this chandelier. Slides are in. We are almost ready to go. Oh look, it's the Starbucks that uh, gave me milk yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> There it goes. Good stuff, guys. Highly recommend. Five out of five stars. No. If, it really you, want so milk. if you want milk, that's the place to go, you guys. That is the place to go. Not looking back. Eyes on the freeway. Bonnie and Clyde. A classic cliche. We're on the run. This is what we waited for.